received from their father that I brought them in and made them feel safe until I got what I want and somehow justified leaving them. And as I dealt with this all night long, the weight of it was just enormous. The weight of it was more than my body could handle in the moment and I would just get back to the toilet and I would just let it loose and it was just darker and filthier and more painful as it went. And then the image of my former wife appeared before me. And it was interesting to me because I had, you know, up until that point I'd been apologizing, just apologizing deeply to all of the forms of the divine feminine that I had disgraced and dishonored in my own way. And then when the image of my former wife, which we'll call Bubbles, appeared before me, suddenly my heart closed down and I said, I, 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 don't, I don't understand. I, I've done all the forgiving and work with her and we're cool, we don't really talk, but it's all, it's all good this way. And I've done all the work and, and, I, and, uh, and I've totally forgiven her. And they had, me, they had me examine that really and realize that we had just reached a point in our relationship where we could kind of tolerate each other and hear each other's names without having all of the pain resurfaced. But the truth of the matter was, I carried a lot of resentment. Got married at 23 years old and stayed in the relationship for 15 years. And I'd made up a story that she had a chemical imbalance and she was incredibly jealous and insecure. And so ultimately I was very upset at myself for allowing her to waste my time, all of those precious, valuable years that I could not get back, all of the times that we spent in counseling and working it out and talking all night long and doing everything I could just to try and make her feel loved. And I said, I can't even go there because I've already forgiven her and she's already forgiven me, I'm, I'm really good. And then the guidance said to me, are you ready to go beyond forgiveness? And I said, I don't even know what that looks like. And I said, that's what will take you there. And they proceeded to show me the overview, the big picture of my life. And they said, just follow us along. This is just a metaphor, but it will help you understand something that you can't see, you have not seen so far. And they said, please consider that before you were the body, in the body that you are right now, when you had the impulse as the consciousness that is the essence that fills the body to come into physical form, you chose that time, point, and space on this planet to come into this game, this very important critical time on the planet where the human family would be going through a massive shift of consciousness. And we know that when that kind of a choice is made that we must send into your realm master teachers. Master teachers, people that are going to push you beyond your comfort zone into learning and stepping into a realm of consciousness that may not be the collective norm that you would not do on your own. And so we put the word out for someone, the essence of someone that could come into physical form that would agree to endure 15 years of pain and jealousy and suffering for you. And I, in a moment, went from all the blame and shame and guilt and everything that I had been carrying that time to a great deal of, a great deal of gratitude. An extremely profound sense of gratitude for every moment that I had shared with my former wife. I could 
reconnect with who we were as friends and how we grew up together and experience all of the challenges that she provided for me and then turn it around and see my own righteousness.